It's a very hard question, but that you be happy with your children is the first thing for you to raise happy children. Because if you're happy with your children, your children are happy with themselves. Now, happy with your children is a very loaded thing. What exactly does it mean? It means first of all, there are children that rub you the wrong way. There are children you don't get along with, children that uh, you just don't have a chemistry. And like one mother tells me, what can I do? He's just not as cute as his brother. And the mothers that, I, I was in a house where the mother, the seven-year-old, she didn't like so much, the big, you know, aggressive type girl. And the five-year-old is the sweetie and the gentle. So she's talking with the five-year-old and she's talking so sweetly. And then, the, mommy, the seven-year-old calls in the mother and starts rolling her eyes. <laughs> and the other one's rolling her eyes. If you love your children and you accept them for who they are and you are happy with them. One mother tells me her 12-year-old is going to, the 10-year-old, he's going to be the next God of Hadar, but the 12-year-old, forget about it. He comes in and asks, Mommy, I'm home! And then he, drill, he takes the banister from the second floor and he slides down onto the first floor, you know, like he's a real Lebedika thing. So he explained to her that there are different types of G'dayle Hadar. You have G'dayle Hadar like Rav Steinman, and you have G'dayle who more very quiet and reserved, Rebbe Yashiv. And then you had like Rav Shach. Rav Shach would jump and go back and forth and we get all excited. Different types of Rav Chaim Shwalevitz. When he was in the mirror in Shanghai, he would go with a stick and he would chazer the Gemara. Amarava, Amarava. Somebody once heard noise. What was it? Rav Chaim, it was Rav Chaim chazering the Gemara. Amarava. Ksh! He's hitting on the... <laughs> Somebody in Matazdorf. It was not a live owner. Blay Brodkin, a Talmud of Rav Aaron Kotler, <clears throat> had a shirt that he saved from Reb Aaron. And this shirt, had a, it was a ripped shirt that Reb Aaron, once in the middle of an argument with him in learning, Reb Aaron didn't even see. And he grabbed his shirt <laughs> and he ripped it like that. So if you accept your children and you realize their greatness, I'll tell you two things and I'll stop. I'm sorry, I don't want to go over time. But a mother complained to me, her daughter is a shlamazel. She's about 11 and she puts back one towel and she messes up seven in the process. What do you do? So I told her she should write down the good points about her daughter. And the mother did. I, she came to my office and we sat for hours with her husband and her a few times and we wrote down the good points. Then a few years back, she called me that her daughter is getting married and her friends are consoling her because her daughter runs the house for her. She's super balabasta because she became a superstar. And now the mother's going to miss, she's going to lose her because she's getting married and leaving the house. This mother had, I think, 11 or 12 children. And this girl was running the house for her mother. Rabbi Pliskin's son, in Eretz Yisrael, he's a big mechanech. I forgot his first name. And he has a phenomenal, he has a, uh, he's in Chinuch he has a, an organization, Shetulim, I think it's called in Hebrew. And he suggests for parents to do this one thing. He says, it can change your life. And it's very hard but it could change your life with your children. Dra for six months, he says. I, w I would suggest you try it for a month, even for a week. Drop all criticism and start writing down in a book. Take one child, for example, and write down a good thing about the child each day. Now what starts happening is your view starts changing and you start seeing the good in the child and you start being pleased with the child, with who the child is. And that changes everything, all your interactions with the child. Try it. It can change everything, especially with your difficult child. And if you're happy with your children and you let them know, then they're happy with themselves and they're confident because their parents believe in them.